Hello everyone and welcome to Machine Learning and Large Language Model Tutorials. In this tutorial we explain how to install and run LAMA 3.370b Large Language Model or LLM in Python on a local computer. LAMA 3.370b model offers similar performance compared to the older LAMA 3.1405b model. However, the LAMA 3.370b model is smaller and it can run on computers with lower end hardware. Our local computer has NVIDIA 3090 GPU with 24GB RAM. On the other hand, the computer has 48GB of regular RAM and the Intel CPU i9 with this product number. We must say that LAMA 3.3 works on this computer, however, the inference speed is not fast. We can speed up the inference by changing the model parameters, and more about this in the future tutorials. In this tutorial, we will explain how to install and run a quantized LAMA 3.3 model. The model is denoted by 70p instruct q2 underscore k. To install this highly quantized model, you will need 26 gigabyte disk space. You can also try to install the regular LAMA 3.370b model. For the regular model, you will need 40 gigabyte disk space. In this video tutorial, I chose a smaller model, or better to say, a more or highly quantized model, since I want to have a faster inference. The larger models have lower speed of inference. The installation procedure is, first, we will install Olama. Olama is a framework and software for running large language models on local computers. By using Olama, you can use a command line to start a model and to ask questions to LLMs. Although we can do that, we are not going to use a command line, we are going to write a Python script. Then, in the second step, once we install Olama, we will manually download and run Llama 3.370b model. Then, in the final step, we will create a Python virtual environment, then we will install Olama Python library, and then we will run Llama 3.3 model by using the Olama Python library. Okay, let's start. The first step is to install Olama. For that purpose, you need to go to the official Olama website. Here's the link. Then over here, you need to click on download. Then you need to select your operating system, in my case it's Windows, and click on download for Windows. And the download process will start. I will save the file in my downloads folder. Okay, and over here you need to be patient since it's going to take maybe up to a minute to download the installation file. Of course, depending on how fast is your system. Good. Once the once the file is downloaded, go to the download folder. You can simply click here and then you can start the Olama setup. Start Olama setup and click on install and the installation process will start. Over here you can see where the files are extracted. In fact, a folder similar to this one will also contain the LAMA model files. And be patient. It's going to take maybe a minute or so to install OLAMA. After OLAMA is installed, we have to make sure that OLAMA is running properly. Namely, OLAMA should be running in the background. And to see that, click over here and you should see this cute OLAMA icon. However, there is a more appropriate way to verify that Olama is installed. To do that, click on Start and search for Command Prompt. Open Command Prompt and over here type Olama. And if you see something like this, this means that Olama is properly installed on your system and it means that Olama is running in the background. Next, we need to download our model. To download the model, go back to the Olama website, that is go to the base link, and then 
over here, search for models. Search for LAMA 3.3. Now, click over here and you will automatically see the default or the latest model. Now, click over here and click on view all to see all the models. And you can see different options. You can see the latest model whose size is 43 gigabyte. Then you will see this large model that's probably not quantized. And you can see this highly quantized model that has the smallest size. In this video tutorial, in the interest of speed of executing the model and in the interest of saving my disk space, I will use this model. Consequently, click over here. However, you are also suggested to try the regular model. Of course, if you have a powerful computer. However, over here, I'm going to click on this model and over here, you can see the command that's used to download and to run the model. Now, I'm going to copy this command. However, I'm not going to execute exactly this command. I will explain the reason for that. So go back to the command prompt, paste this, and instead of run over here, type pull. So what's the difference? Pool will download the model without executing the model. Run will download and it, out, it will automatically run the model. For the time being, I just want to pull the model. So let's run this and let's see what's happening. You can see over here that the download process has started. Now, you can see the size, 26 gigabyte. You can see the current progress. We are around 800 megabytes and you can see the percentage. Now, it's going to take maybe up to four or five minutes to download this model. And I will continue with the video once the model is downloaded. Then after approximately eight minutes, the model is downloaded. Let's type Olama list to list all the downloaded models. And here it is. Now, to test the model, we will run this model from the command line. And later on, we will write the Python script to run the model. To run the model, simply copy the name of the model. You can simply do that by selecting and do the right click and then type Olama run and then paste the name of the model. And then after some time, the model should start. Over here, you need to be patient since it's going to take a while for model to load. Again, be patient. Patience is always the key in everything what you do. And then over here, let's ask a question. Briefly describe who you are. Let's see. Now, this is a more or less real time execution of the model and you can see I'm an artificial intelligent model known as Llama. I was created by Meta and you can see how the model runs. It's actually not bad. This is relatively fast. And over here we can see the performance. We can see that the GPU memory is actually being used the most and that's it. Here it is. This means that the model works. To exit the model, you can simply press Ctrl D and you will be back to command prompt. The next step is to create a Python virtual environment and to install the necessary libraries and to write the Python script such that we can run this model. Okay, let's start. First of all, go to the C drive by executing this command. Then on the C drive, create a new folder called codes. I will not execute this command since I already have codes. However, you should execute this command. Then navigate to the codes folder and inside of the codes folder, create a new directory called Olama test. Then let's navigate to Olama test. And inside of this directory, we will create a Python virtual environment. To create the Python virtual environment, we need to type Python with an option M, VNV, Olama. The Olama is the name of the Python virtual environment. However, you can change this name and you can give it any other name. 
and then after some time the Python virtual environment will start will actually be created okay the next step is to start the Python virtual environment namely you will notice that inside of this folder there is a new folder called Olama inside of Olama there is a new folder called scripts and inside of the scripts there is a file called activate .bat. This is actually a script file that will activate our environment. To start this file, we need to specify the path to this file and the extension. And after executing this command, you will see that we are inside of our virtual environment. That is, over here, you will see the name of our Python virtual environment. We only need to install a single library we need to install Olama library. To do that, you need to type pip install Olama and press enter. And of course, if you plan to use NumPy, SciPy, or any other library, you can also install them inside of your virtual environment by typing, for example, example pip install NumPy. We will not need NumPy, but here I'm just demonstrating how to do that. The next step is to create our Python script. For that purpose, I'm going to start Visual Studio Code. However, if you don't have Visual Studio Code, you can use a simple notepad or you can use any other Python editor. So here it is. Then I'm going to click on File, New File, and I will call the file as test llama. Dot pi. and I will save it inside of my base folder and over here I'm going to copy and paste the script that I've wrote previously here is the script and let's explain this script line by line first of all we are importing the complete Olama library then over here we need to specify the desired model okay let's find the name of the model go back to the command prompt and type olama list and here is the name of the model copy this name and paste it over here good next we need to ask our question that is we need to create a string that will contain the question how to solve quadratic equation so let me correct this since there is a spelling error over here And over here, to speed up the complete process of generating the reply, I will type this, generate your response by using a maximum of five sentences. Okay, now I'm limiting the size of the response. Then I'm creating here a response. I'm calling olama.chat. I'm specifying the model and I'm specifying the message over here. You can see how the message is specified. We need to specify our role. The role is the user and the content is the question to ask. And that's it. Then over here we are retrieving the response. Then we are going to print the response on the computer screen and over here, I will save the response inside of this file called outputolama.txt. I'm specifying the encoding and I'm specifying the write mode. That is, we are going to open, or better to say, to create the file if the file doesn't exist and to write the response inside of the file. And inside of this file, we are simply going to write the response. That is, after this code is executed, you will see that in our base folder there is a file called output olama.txt and this file contains the response so let's save this script and let's run it to run the script from visual studio code we need to do two things first of all we need to tell to visual studio code that we want to run this code inside of our newly created python virtual environment to do that press and hold Control shift and press p 
again, Control, Shift, and P, and over here, search for Python, select Interpreter. Here it is, and make sure that you correct, that you select the correct Interpreter. Okay, so you can see over here the recommended one. It is inside Olama, Scripts, and Python. This is what we need to select. Next, to run the code, simply click here, and the code will, will be running. Expand here to see the output. Simply ignore these red lines over here since they really don't matter. And over here the inference process is started and it's going to take a while to generate the response. Once the inference process is completed, the file will be created and the response will be stored inside of the file. And let's be patient. And after approximately a minute, you will see the reply over here. And let's open this reply directly from our file. So let's find our folder. Here it is. And here is the file. And here is the response. Let's see. To solve a quadratic equation, start by writing the equation in standard form. Excellent. Let me see the next line. The next step is to use the quadratic formula, excellent, so here is the quadratic formula, then plug in the values of A, B, and C into the formula to find the solution, then simplify the expressions to get the two possible values of X, perfect. If the equation has real roots, these values will be the solution to the quadratic equation. Awesome. This is what we were asking, and this is the correct answer. Okay, that would be all for today, and thanks for watching.